Welcome back into the show. Time for some 814 Eats. Joining us now is Beth Stark of the PA Beef Council. Good Thanks morning. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Good morning it's a great to time you. to be here. <laughs> yes, we are showing everybody at home how to beef up some of their everyday tacos mm -hmm. with, of course, some delicious ground beef, my favorite. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, February is American Heart Month, and there's a lot of myths out there about beef and kind of the overall like heart healthy lifestyle. So really, I wanted to come on today, share some recipe ideas, and just kind of debunk some of those myths. Um, you know, when you think about a heart healthy lifestyle, you may not think that beef has a place, but the research really shows that eating an overall heart healthy eating pattern mm -hmm. with plant based foods like whole grains, fruits and vegetables, and lean beef can help to maintain healthy blood pressure and cholesterol levels, which are key factors when you think about overall heart health. Um, and you know, thinking about how to incorporate lean beef, it's really easy. A lot of different ways you can do it. The biggest thing, though, Morgan, mm -hmm. is the portion size. Do you have okay. an idea what the portion size you're looking for is? Well, I'm gonna put you on the spot. They usually <laughs> say, "What is it? Your fist or a deck of cards?" You got that it. Kind of so thing? you've okay. obviously, yeah, been listening. Yes. Um, you know, so we're talking about like that three ounce portion. Right. So I think that's just really important to kind of convey. And we're also talking about lean cuts of beef. You know, again, mm -hmm. in the overall heart healthy uh, eating pattern. So yeah, like the size of your palm, a deck of cards, even a smaller smartphone if you want a visual reference okay that can be helpful um, and lean beef fits really well with a lot of nutritious and delicious foods well and it's really good you know for a protein source absolutely but as far as when we're in the grocery store what types of things should we be selecting that's the best for us yeah and you know you brought up the protein point so again in that three ounce portion you're getting you know 10 essential nutrients mm -hmm. including vitamins um, uh, B vitamins zinc and iron and choline all really wow. important for overall health and longevity as well as 25 grams of protein so it is that high quality protein yeah. that really does fuel an active lifestyle and and so Keeps on and so going. forth. Exactly, that's about half of the protein that we need in a day. Um, so yeah, when you're shopping, you know, I keep mentioning lean, lean, lean. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. So a three ounce cooked portion of lean beef would contain 10 grams or less of total fat and about four and a half grams or less of saturated fat. So saturated fat is that word and kind of that like type of fat. When we think about heart health, you want to try to minimize right. that and include a variety of different fats. So if you overdo saturated fat in your diet, that's when your cholesterol levels can go elevated. Right. Okay. So again, the leaner types of beef will have less saturated fat in comparison. So just fun fact for you. Yes, <laughs> of course. But there are things too, like when we're, we're browning up some, uh, some yep. beef here, you can do little things to drain off some of that excess fat. Exactly. You know, so yeah. So again, here we're using, and again, you know, types of cuts. When you're in the supermarket, it can be really overwhelming to identify different cuts. So this mm -hmm. is a 96 percent lean okay. ground beef. 93 percent would be another lean variety that you okay. could look for. And then in other cuts, so if you want to like a roast or maybe a steak, the words loin or round would be those keywords to look for. So for example, a top sirloin or a bottom round roast. Just some other examples, so you can look for those words and okay. know that you're choosing a leaner cut that would again fit within this heart healthy eating pattern. And then the recipe today, I, I really love this because for mm -hmm. one, I love bringing new inspiration yes. to people in terms of cooking. So this really brings together um, lean beef with other nutritious ingredients. So we have sweet potatoes, we've got lots of vegetables, Ooh. whole grains. Yes. You know, who doesn't love kind of a twist on a taco, which, you know, gosh, it's not Taco Tuesday, but I mean, I could eat tacos any you day of the week, right? Oh, I know. Um, so yeah, here we kind of expedited the recipe a little bit to, to save time. Okay. So this is cooked lean ground beef. Yes. It's um, got a little bit of the lower sodium taco seasoning in it. And then Morgan, if you just want to dump in those sweet sure. potatoes. Ooh, so I if you were them. cooking this at home, it would take about 30-ish minutes to make. And okay. then you would use uh, a fresh whole sweet potato. I've actually kind of cheated a little bit. This is a steamable sweet potato uh -huh. for a shortcut. So, you know, sure. if you could take a shortcut, why not? Um, then you'll add some of this onion in there. Yes. And so those, these sweet potatoes and the onion, they'll kind of just cook together. The flavors will meld. Um, they'll become nice and tender. And then here we can actually I'll sprinkle, sprinkle yes. this in here too. Oh, it's Again, we're good. using the lower sodium taco seasoning just so you have control of the, the sodium content. Um, and then this will just kind of like cook together uh, for a few minutes until again, mm -hmm. all those flavors come together. Um, and then we build our, our tacos, which I think tacos, yes. you know, this is kind of like a beefy sweet potato mashup is the actual yes. recipe name, but I, in my mind, keep saying tacos um, because you can serve them as such. Um, and tacos are just a really great vehicle for adding additional nutritious ingredients. So here we have the whole grain corn tortillas. Um, and I personally love the yellow corn tortillas mm -hmm. because of the flavor. I think the color Little looks crunch. so much nicer. Oh, they yeah. have a, a nice texture. They're also a lot lower in sodium than flour tortillas. So okay. again, thinking about overall heart health and healthy habits, being mindful of your sodium content is really important. Um, so yeah, the, the, you could layer it on with some different vegetables. We've got um, the lettuce, tomatoes, and uh, some avocado or guacamole. Mm. I think another 
another fun fact too, you know, we were talking about the fat in beef and the avocado made me think of it. Uh, about half of the fat in beef is monounsaturated fat. Okay. So again, you think about unsaturated fat being, you know, a good choice for your heart. Um, so it's that same type of fat that you find in avocados or olive oil that's also in good beef. Fats. So a lot of people yes. don't realize that. So yes, there is saturated fat in, you know, minimal amounts with that three ounce portion, but there's also monounsaturated fat. So just again, something just to, to be mindful of. And I know there's a lot of ways that incorporating lean beef can help to support an overall healthy that heart. That's great. And I mean, just beef is so versatile. That's like one of the best parts of it. Oh, you absolutely. Know? Yeah, you can do a you lot with it. So, it. Many different so ways. yeah, if you want to, Morgan okay. here, I'll let you do some cooking magic here. So we'll Woo! just kind of fill our taco tacos shells. are a little messy, but it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> we'll make the Yummy. best of it. There you go. All right. And so yeah, I've layered the corn tortillas here with a little bit of lettuce. You're yes. doing awesome. There you go. <laughs> a little bit there. And the, the okay. aroma, uh, I mean, it just it smells really awesome. So oh, this is does. a fun way. Look at that. Um, again, you know, tacos could be something that you can incorporate into your family's meal plan to try to introduce different foods to your family yes. if they're if they're regularly enjoying tacos. Um, this is a new way to introduce How new ingredients cool too. Is that? Beth, so yeah, you can dress it up. If if people are interested in you know learning more recipes or more information about you know beef or the PA Beef Council, what's the best way to uh, learn more? Yeah, absolutely. So you would find the beefy sweet potato mashup recipe here. That would be at pabeef.org. Mm. Um, you can find a whole variety of recipes that will use lean cuts. This is part of our American Heart Association certified recipe collection. There are about 20 recipes that are certified heart healthy from the AHA which is really, again, significant for heart health. Um, so look for those. You'll find this recipe there. Um, and you can also search by cut. So if you want to okay. do something with a top sirloin, but you're not sure the best recipe technique, you can right. actually search by that for a whole bunch of recipe ideas. Um, so pabeef.org, you can also find information there about sustainability and um, our beef producers in the state. And my contact information wow. is there as well. That is excellent. Beth, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you, Morgan. We'll have more details, too, on our website coming up after the show. We're going to check in with our...